So I'd like to start with a question. SOP or SOPs. How many of you have heard of SOPs? Bring in some reactions on the chat uh, or standard operating procedures. Um, so um, the reason I'm covering SOPs is because today I'm going to talk about SOPs and how I kind of used SOPs and Power Platform to productize uh, my, my solution. So uh, as, as we all know, SOPs um, or standard operating procedures, we use them in our day-to-day -day tasks. It's a standardized way uh, that we, we do things. Like, uh, for example, if you're doing a marketing campaign, you don't just start sending out emails, right? You have a process that you go through to be able to gather the emails, um, so create the emails, put a list together, and then send it out. So thank you very much for that, uh, for the reactions. My name is Azim Zikar. I'm a Power Platform Adoption Specialist, and uh, I focus on helping customers with uh, getting mo the most business value out of implementing Power Platform. So um, I have SOPs and for the last couple of years, um, I've been using different processes when I'm moving from client to client to try and get them up to speed with the Power Platform. So with, with that, I had some limitations and um, today I'm gonna share a story about what those limitations were and how I addressed them and why, and um, some kind of uh, tips and, uh, and, and lessons learned I'd like to share with you. And hopefully you can take benefit from, from that story. So the first limitation uh, was something that I found doing every time I changed clients was uh, doing the same task over and over again and not really uh, um, having any benefit from doing so. Um, so if you think about the things that you do every day, whether it be at work or, or you know, in your daily lives, is there one task that you keep doing, but you, you won't get better at it, you don't need to get better at it, it's just something simple. Like for me, it was uh, telling my customers about what Power Platform is and what it does. I mean, that information was pretty standard every time. And I found myself, um, you know, having to repeat that. And I call that unhealthy repetition. Um, so if you think about your tasks that you do at work, is there something like that where you are repeating, but you're not iterating? Because that's ideally what you should do. Focus on those tasks that you can iterate and uh, improve every time you do it. So essentially, that was the solution to that problem, right? And that was one thing that I wanted to accomplish with the Power Platform and my SOPs. And then uh, there was the visuals. So every time I'm with a customer, I'm, obviously we have a project plan, we have the uh, Microsoft maturity model to kind of uh, see where we are in the journey, where do we want to be. Uh, but it's not enough or good enough to have visuals. You need to also have, um, you know, easy to digest visuals. Uh, sorry for the graphics there. It's a bit a bit too graphic. I uh, <laughs> I hope it's not too graphic. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, again, uh, with the SOPs that I had, I had um, the way of kind of doing the project management side and showcasing where we're at. But it wasn't as easy to communicate across across the stakeholders. So I needed to address that. So lastly, there's a limitation that we all have which is that there is only a limited number of hours in a day. So you can only help um, so many people, right? So think about this. Um, you might know something in your current uh, place of work, and that information is only with you. So only when you're there that you can provide this to your colleagues, for example. Now, if you were to productize that information, right? If you were to put that information in a digital solution, now you can distribute it in a much easier way and you don't need to be there to give to give value to your colleagues your company and that was a kind of um the, the last kind of a problem that i had and and the way to resolve it was through productization now obviously in hindsight i'm talking about these things but it didn't just come to my head you know just how i've just explained it to you i had an epiphany a moment that i realized you know I'm telling customers to use Power Platform, right? And I'm not using it for myself. And a lot of IT companies, we, we can be um, guilty of that, right? We tell our customers to use technology and we don't use that same technology to bring benefit to what we do. So perhaps if you were to think about those limitations um, and think about the work that you do, maybe you've 
you have an epiphany moment right now. Well, if you do share it with us, that'd be good to, to hear. It'd be good to, to know. But yeah, I mean, that's what happened. I had an epiphany. I was about to go to, to bed, actually. And then the idea came to my head. And, you know, I can use Power Platform to put my SOPs into Power App and then use Power BI to showcase, you know, the uh, progress of what we're doing, etc. And yeah, I just had to get started, right? So uh, one thing led to another. And essentially, that's uh, kind of the, the outcome, the end result of it all. I created... Uh, a power platform solution that I could now share with my clients uh, and uh, kind of have that information, my SOPs into a digital product that would now benefit um, um, more people than just myself. And also with the Power BI dashboard, as you can see, that it's a lot easier to now have conversations and communicate the status of, of the project. And the reason I wanted to do it in a power app is because I had a vision as to how I want my product to look and feel and uh, with power apps that empower, allowed me to be able to do that. So similarly, think about your solution. Like for what I did, it's something that, you know, I've, uh, I'm uh, send, selling out to external customers, but you might have external internal clients. For example, if there is something that you do in your department that is replicated across other departments, could you create a power platform solution that uses all of these technologies and then um, package it up and so that it can be shared across the departments as something that um, you know you could do yourself as well so what was the key lessons of doing all of this so the first main lesson was that you know the there are challenges way beyond development and i think some of this stuff can be obvious for example if you are looking to build a, a, you know a, a solution it's not just about the technical side of it i mean power platform has made it much easier to not worry about the technology now but yes we need to look beyond technology you know for me in my case i needed to think about how to do the marketing side of things branding etc for you it might be how do you convince your colleagues to use this technology? Because change management is also something that you need to think about. So that's a key lesson. If you just had that epiphany and you're thinking about creating a solution, start also thinking about how you're going to get people to, to use that. And you know, if you go about and you do that and it comes out as you envisioned it, you will have you will feel empowered. And um, you know. I know now why they call it the power platform, right? Because I did feel very empowered that I was able to have just a moment, an epiphany and turn that into reality. And not just that, it actually it helped me do my work better. So instead of taking one year to help my clients, now I can take four to six months. So think about that for yourself. Um, you know, if you are... Uh, doing some work right now and you are you feel like you're spending a lot of time doing that same thing over and over could you turn that into a solution help yourself and others at the same time that will feel you will feel empowered you'll want to do more of it and only good things can come from that so if you decide to to go ahead and do something like this um there are tips that i like to give you first tip is use the whole of the power platform it's not just power apps we have a lot more than Power Apps. There is, uh, although Power Apps is the most popular, but um, you know, we got to think beyond just one element. Um, if you put everything together, then you can kind of build much more complete solutions and much more future proof. I think with um, us having Copilot now, things are just uh, a lot easier because a lot of the reasons why we don't use other areas, like for example, I've been using Power Pages now. Uh, but with Copilot, because I don't have the knowledge, but with Copilot, it's easy for me. So don't be afraid. And that's the next thing. There is a learning curve involved and um, you don't, you shouldn't be afraid of getting your hands dirty. And uh, Copilot is a game changer, man. And uh, I think with that, the learning curve is a lot easier. So um, not only just the technical skills, there is going to be a lot of things, like I said, change management before. Um, you've got to be able to think about it beyond the technical solution. And that, that's it for my brief um, kind of presentation. Hopefully, you've got some value from this. And uh, if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to, to help you. Um, yeah, LinkedIn is the best place to get to me.